Your best friend, Sonny, he is a professional criminal, a gangster. You are his enforcer. I, I kill people for him? I think so. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You've never actually told me that we have this agreement that you don't talk about your work to <sighs> I mean, how, how many... How, how many people have, have I killed? I don't know. But this is not... These are really bad people. Enemies who threaten Sonny and his family and you and... How, how do I do it? I don't know. I mean, I think... They just disappear. No, 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 they... no. I mean, how do I justify... How do I justify killing people? You're loyal to Sonny. Jason, these are these people, they do terrible things. They are bad. They, I mean, they... you say you're my girlfriend? Yeah. I mean, we're supposed to be getting married. Why? Why why would you want to? Why would you even want to be with me? Because I love you. Even though I kill people? You defend people. Sonny and his family, those two little boys, especially the older one. Jason, you took care of him when you were a baby. You would never, ever let anything happen. When I took those, two, were... when I took those two guys down, I wasn't protecting anybody. You were protecting yourself. So that makes it okay? I killed them. They weren't trying to kill me. You didn't know that. I knew exactly how to take their guns away. I did that without even thinking. I fired the same way without thinking. I could have backed them off. I could have knocked them out, but I shot them. You were reacting on instinct, okay? Exactly. No, listen, I don't think I'm explaining this right, okay? You, your work, it's really dangerous. These people are after you to kill you. You know how to stop them. You are not cruel or evil. You are the exact opposite. You are the most loving man that I have ever met in my entire life. Please, listen to me, please. I'm going to get you home. You're going to see familiar faces, people that you love. You are going to remember, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get the boat, and I'm going to get it all set up. I want you to stay here and rest. Just, just relax, and I will be right back, okay? Okay. No, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe you should just come with me. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'll be all right. Jason. Oh, I thought he was on his way No, home. you're lying again. What did you do with him? Sam, try to calm down. Now, just take a deep breath and think. Why would I do anything to hurt Jason? He's been having really bad headaches, and I left him here so I could go get the boat ready, and now he's gone. Does your men know that the plan is off, that Jason and I are allowed to leave? Yes, yes. Jason must have left oh, on his gosh. own. Wait, wait, wait. What if, he had a, what if he had another seizure? What if he collapsed again? He could be in serious pain right now. Sam, what if he's looking no, for me? No, try to calm down. He could be Sam. hiding in this house. That is how confused he is. Dante, Jason is missing. We need to find him immediately. Now, arrange for the island to be searched, and especially along the water. I'm gonna go check the gardens. No, Sam, my men know this area much better than you do. Try not to worry. We will find Jason, probably very soon. You don't understand. If Jason wants to leave, he will. And if he thinks that he has to defend himself, somebody could get seriously injured. We will find Jason. Why are you trying so hard to help us? Sam, I don't blame you for being wary. If it weren't for me, you and Jason would be home by now, going through your vacation pictures. 
And instead, I dragged you off that boat and got you all tangled up in this unfortunate plan of mine. My only excuse is I was trying to help my daughter. And to get your hands on a whole lot of money? Well, at least won't be needing it now. She's so different from you. Inside, where it counts. I've lost my daughter. But I can still help you. Counting. Did you find something? They found a body. Let me do that for you. I know this man. He's a fisherman from across the island. The ID bracelet proves that Jason was on this boat, but I, I don't know. He must have been trying to get away. I have no idea where he was trying to go. He may be back on the island looking for you. Or he took one of your boats because it's faster. Do you have any idea where Jason would go? No. No, I just, I, I kind of just talked to him about his life in Port Charles, and that's it. All right. Search the island one more time. Sam and I will start trying to contact the authorities in New York. Hello, hello. Are you looking for the guy of this boat? Blonde hair, blue eyes, six feet tall, about. Yeah, he just uh, hopped the cargo plane to uh, Portugal. He left 20 minutes ago. Dark haired girl with a bleeding? Sure. This boat's gonna give me Port Charles, New York? That ship docks in tomorrow. Good luck.